I landed in South Africa, Cape Town. Cape Town is the second most populous city in South Africa, after Johannesburg. I stopped by the Castle of Good Hope. The castle is the oldest existing colonial building in South Africa. The first residents of Camps Bay were the Song. They were a hunter-gatherer. Camps Bay was incorporated into Cape Town. Table Mountain is a flat top mountain overlooking the city of Cape Town. It is a significant tourist attraction. The view of Table Mountain is a sight to see. I took an amazing aerial ace ride over the giant mountain. It was wonderful. After Table Mountain, I left the group to go see the waterfalls of Igasi. It was amazing. Chobe National Park is the third largest park in the country of Botswana. The park is widely known for their spectacular elephant population. I visited six different types of famous animals at the park. My first animal is a hippopotamus. The word hippopotamus means river horse. The second animal I went to visit was a giraffe. They used their necks to defend themselves. The third animal I went to visit was an alligator. I found out that their jaw comes down at 60 pounds of force. The fourth animal I visited were zebras. They have black and white stripes all over their bodies. The fifth animal I visited was a cheetah. They are the fastest animals in the world. The sixth animal I visited were elephants. They are the largest land animals in the world. After the safari, I could not miss Victoria Falls. The falls are first seen by the Europeans when David Livingstone discovered the Zambezi River in 1855. The river flows to the southwest into Angola. The first thing I did at Victoria Falls is I went bungee jumping over the Zambezi River. After, I went white water rafting on the Zambezi River. I continued going north to see the African rainforest ecosystem while I passed Malawi. The area of Africa, now known as Malawi, was settled by migrating Bantu, groups around the 10th century. Centuries later, in 1891, the area was colonized by the British. Next, I passed Tanzania. Tanzania has the largest concentration of wildlife animals. Then I stopped by Burundi. Burundi is a densely populated country located in Central Africa, with the majority of the population living in extreme poverty and hunger. After I passed Burundi, I went to see Rwanda. It is surrounded by the Democratic Republic of Congo, Uganda, Tanzania, and Burundi. remaining landscapes that contain both lowland and montane forests.
Uganda red clovis is one of the 13 primate species found in Kaiba. The park is home to a total of 70 mammal species, most famously 13 species of primate, including the chimpanzee. Nairobi is the capital and largest city of Kenya. The city and its surrounding area also forms the Nairobi country. Nairobi is now one of the most prominent cities in Africa, both politically and financially. Nairobi is Africa's fourth largest exchange in terms of trading volume and capable of making 10 million trades a day. Four million people are living in poverty. Nairobi's huge and overcrowded urban slums are on the edge of a massive food crisis. I kept traveling east to Mogadishu. It is the largest city in Somalia and the nation's capital. Mogadishu is very poor. still going because it was in the instructions. When going to be choosing Mogadishu, there is most likely a better chance that you will drown in the water because the lifeguards are not always on duty. Bashir Osman, a Somali businessman who seven years ago opened the Peace Hotel offering secure accommodation for aid workers and journalists. I traveled far west to complete my trip in Timbuktu, Mali. Timbuktu is a city in the West African nation of Mali, situated north of the river Niger on the southern edge of the Sahara Desert. The town is now the capital of the Timbuktu region. The initial construction of the building dates back to Sultan Kankan Musa. It was rebuilt and enlarged between 1570 and 1583. The library held about 30,000 manuscripts of which only about one had been cataloged. According to its website, the world may never know what it has lost. The world famous mosque, famous learning center of Mali, built in 1327 and cited as were in various languages. Thank you for watching my African travel eye movie. Hope you enjoyed it. She loves to laugh, she loves to sing, she does everything.